What's going on guys? Stray here and welcome back to Species Artificial Life Real Evolution. Today we're going to get out and make a brand new world and the developer actually talked to me and he gave me a few pointers as to why last time our creatures stayed so small and in the water. My stamina multiplier wasn't good enough and uh, because of their lacking stamina, uh, they stayed small so they didn't have to move around as much. Obviously the bigger the creature, the more stamina you're going to use so I want to get big and bad creatures that's my whole goal so we are going to up the stamina multiplier you know what let's just actually use the numbers here I'm gonna go to something stupid like 60 yeah, I think you can go to whatever you want I'm assuming that is uh, a lot crazier how much energy creatures spend moving large values means more stamina and less energy cost that's kind of worded not very well, but from what I'm understanding, large values mean you have more stamina, not that it uses more stamina, and there's a less energy cost per usage. So I think higher the number, the better it is. We're going to also upgrade the speed a little bit. Let's up it to, I guess, four. We're also going to drop the cap down. Last time we did 500, and it made the game extremely stable, but obviously we had evolution issues obviously the more evolutions or the more species you have the less population they could have and uh they were dying out just due to uh, a population cap so i'm gonna try and do 800 i will probably lag in this i'm just letting you know we're gonna drop the detail down to 75 they're ugly anyway so who cares and i'm I th i'm gonna start with blank slate again i have to start with blank slate because we know exactly what we start out with uh but you can totally do like random and have a bunch of different random creatures starting out too which is cool but i like the idea of blank slate just to see where it goes naturally and we're gonna do a number of creatures at the start of you know what actually 250 should be good that'll give us a good chance now i'm gonna up the mutation rate as well that should make more evolutions it does say that natural selection is dropped with doing that though i don't care we're also going to do sexual reproduction this time uh because it might change a lot of how this game plays uh breeding range that basically tells you how much you can inbreed <laughs> And we'll keep it with the suggested. Uh, what else do we want? We'll up the meat efficiency, but I don't want to make it too easy. Uh, last episode, my assumption was I made life too easy so they didn't evolve. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't want to make life too easy to the point where anything like a sloth can, can survive. So we're just going to up the efficiencies a little bit just to give them the best chance. Uh, tree growth rate, uh, fertility sensitivity. Yeah, you know what? Let's alter the world size a little bit. So I think we can just... Whoa, that is trippy. Okay, this is really cool. Um, I kind of like that little... Yeah, we want a little bit of water up there. That looks really good to me. Let's also... Like, you can go crazy in this. The temperature average... I'm going to up this a little bit. I think 28. And look at that. It actually changes. You can see dropping the temperature down to the negatives. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more snow. This is such an impressive game. All right, we're going to do 28, or 27 is good enough, because uh, I think that was the best temperature for the worm. And a variation across the plane. Oh my god, look at that. You can actually drop the variation down, so to make this world, like, perfectly temperate, uh, you could if you want to. I'm going to do a little bit of variation, and you can see that it actually changes the uh, map as well. This is crazy. Fertility average. All right, everything else, I don't want to do this too much. Let's, uh, we already updated the speed. Damage multiplier, no. Aging rate, sounds good to me. Temperature loss modifier, okay. So I'm actually going to turn tutorials on because I want to play with the um, nursery today if we can as well. We might get to that, we might not. Depends on how interesting this creature becomes. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Let's get into it and birth another creature. All right, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our oasis. Uh, it's an actual oasis this time, so it looks like... What are we looking at right now? 27 degrees, the perfect temperature right now. We have some little worms already eating plants and everything. This is actually going better already than uh, what we had going on before. Basically, they found seaweed and they lived by it the whole time. So now I'm kind of excited because these guys are not dying right away. They're going for the plants. They're obviously focusing on staying on land this time and i think that just has to do with their stamina they can just keep running and running and going crazy i'm hoping these plants can keep up we can obviously play god and change this later i don't know if i like this random ledge that they have they should probably add mountains or something but uh yeah obviously that's the edge of the map now you guys know how this works we kind of have to wait for you know the thing to evolve so right now it actually looks like they're extremely stable there's still 250 of them we're actually increasing now. Oh my god, they're making babies! Where's the baby making place? 
So yeah, they, they have to be sexual now. So they're obviously clearly... Oh my god, and there we go. We've already capped out. You can see this is why I had 500 last time. Because it legs a lot. Oh my god, I don't even know if this is going to be possible. Okay, so I reset it. Uh, I put the cap down to 600. That's still more than what we had last time. It's unfortunate because I think the cap is my major issue. So uh, hopefully one day the game's a little bit more optimized because uh, I really don't want to have a cap on, but I don't really have a choice right now. So same thing as before. These guys are exactly the same, so they still... I think this is going to be really good because the fact that they're exploring is doing more than what we did last time. Uh, so we should be okay, but we might run into cap issues later. You can see we're still at 250 right now. You know what? Let's speed up time. See what these guys are doing. We'll zoom all the way out. Looks like they're getting bigger. I can visually see them getting bigger. Some of them at least. And this cap, little bit of lag. We're at 15 FPS, but it's doable. So I'm all about trying to keep as many of these guys here as possible. All right, let's go back down. It should actually be pretty stable once we're slow as well. And look at the size of these bastards already. They're obviously all still very worm-like. Um, it's going to be like this for a while. Oh, this guy just... Oh, he was sniffing. I thought he was dying. Man, these guys with a stamina multiplier, they are motoring around. It's crazy to see the, the humongous difference of this as compared to last time. Because, like, last time, like I said, they all stayed in the water. We still got a few in the water here, but... Nothing like last time. We have so many on land, and it looks like this cap's actually good. So, uh, looks like 600's the max for me. All right, so this time I'm not going to play with the rovers. I'm not going to try and, you know, baby this species. If it dies, it dies. I want to make life a little bit more of a challenge this time. So, we are doing exactly that. Looks like they're very stable, though. We still only have one species. Uh, but slowly these guys, let's actually go take take a peek, see if there's any, like, legs growing or anything. Uh, let's actually pause time. Ah, oh, man, I, they, they, they seriously look like little olives, man. All right, so we have a ring species now, which means they're not, well, from what I understand, it means they're not technically the same species. My god, look at that one, he's growing hair and crap. That is horrifying. They're not technically the same species anymore, but they can still breed together, so it's not technically a new species either. But you're gonna see a lot of va variation between some of these guys too, like that one hairy guy that we saw. He's probably about to be his own species. Looks like we're gaining legs and whatnot though. Yeah, you can see they're actually, whoa, this guy, we have flight! No, I think these guys are actually in water or something. We just don't see it. I honestly, I have no idea what the hell happened there. I have no idea. Uh, we are capped once again, though. That's just going to be what we're going to have to deal with. These guys don't look like they have legs, but you can see the difference. Like, this guy's growing a mouth. These are still the same species. This guy's growing eyeballs. And does this guy have eyes? Oh, auto-saving. That's going to be a common occurrence. Yeah, this guy doesn't have eyes. So, like I said... Ring species. They're still technically the same species. They can still breed together, but they're not, you know, looking the same at all. And there we have it, our first split. Oh, actually, we have three now. I paused it, and we've already made another species within that. Uh, this happens naturally when there are no longer any members of either population that can breed with members of the other. So like I said, kind of explaining what a ring species is. So now we have two species that cannot breed together. Let's go to the clay diagram and see what we're working with here. So we have our dominant species, and then we have these two guys. This is the one that I thought would break off. He's, he's only he's only one member right now, so he... Wait, what? Did that just say cum specimen? <laughs> ah, the old cum specimen. Ah, oh, I... <laughs> Oh, that poor species is named Cum. I, I love it. Okay, and th this is my childlike humor here. Sorry about that, guys. But <laughs> seriously, I'm, I hope this guy can get a mate because he looks amazing. I want to see what he turns into. All right, we're still holding three species. Extinction. Oh, God, that was probably the one that I liked. The Cum specimen's still here, though. That's the important part. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to let this go a little bit and see if these species start branching off. Damn it, we're down to one species once again. So we have to get lucky. We have to get a second strong species that can actually populate. And gum specimen has got extinct. Ah, oh, man, I love it. Okay, so we have three more species. Obviously, one of these species over time will branch off and be successful. We're going to have a few failures, though. I am noticing it must be winter. Uh, the trees are not regrowing food. And as you can see... Our population isn't doing so well in reflect to that. So, yeah, I think there's weather changes as well, or seasonal changes, and that's something we got to deal with. All the trees are dead now, as you can see, and that could be also due to them just overeating, maybe? 
I don't know. The thing with this game is it's all about experimentation, right? So we got a few trees here. Hopefully some of these guys will survive. Uh, we actually have a couple species here that have been here for a while. So let's see how we're doing. Um, okay, so we got this guy, which is a herbivore. This guy, and again, they're all going to look very similar. Oh, please tell me you stay because you're going to look like a lizard or something later on. These guys' legs are growing, as you can see. Are all these guys herbivores? That's what I'm hoping for. One to turn into a carnivore. Uh, we have some with lungs, some which are anaerobic, which I believe have gills and lungs or kind of something like that. Uh, but yeah, we do have some lung breathers as well. All right, so I'm hoping we can survive this winter or whatever it is and uh, starts branching out. Let's actually increase fertility um, just to help out a little bit. I hate playing God, but I can't help it either. Uh, so yeah, we're going to increase it to two. That should hopefully help add some small bushes and whatnot. We might actually move to the water now because of this. You can see there's a lot more in the water now than what there was before. Very few that are actually staying on land. Makes sense. There's no food there. May as well move somewhere else. We got a few bushes or small trees that seem to be doing their job, though. Okay, it's looking a little better now. We have four. This one's been stable for a while, as you can see. There's only 16 of them. It looks like a little bear. I don't know what those side things are. Can we actually see... Looks like... Is that one here? Um, looks like it's in the water. I can't... Oh, there we go. I actually was able to go down. Whoa, let's pot. What the hell? What are these guys becoming? Okay, so we got obviously a worm species with... It looks like... Am I crazy? Are those fins? I think we might actually be seeing a fish in the process here. I hope we can at least get one fish species. That dude looks like a freaking walrus in the process. I have no idea. Some of these guys are the weirdest looking bastards ever. All right, we're going to keep going here. Uh, but yeah, we at least have some species that seem somewhat stable. Especially... Oh, no. Did I just jinx it? Yeah, we have a soul survivor. But we do have a break off here. A very stable break off, too. Uh, so this should actually... Hopefully... Oh, man, this one's dropping its population, though. It's hard to tell if one's going to be stable or not. So we now have five species. Again, I think they're still pretty similar, but look at that. This guy's got some big old back legs. That's not bad. Let's open up the clay diagram here and see what we're working with. This guy, they're slowly... I love... I, it's horrifying how their legs grow at different rates. That just is really weird to me. we got a mutant. Oh, my God. That is a serious mutant. I hope eyeballs pop out of those big old bulges. Because <laughs> this thing... Oh my god, they all look so... Oh my god, it's so cute! Look at how happy it is to see us! Goddamn olive creature, I love it. What the hell? Okay, this must be a swimmer, because it's got crazy big flappers. And, uh, yeah, there's this one, too. Don't know what's going on with this one, but what I want to try... This is our main species, right? We got 76 of those bad boys. Actually, you can see it's perfectly split off now, so we have two stable species, which is good. Uh, I want to take one of these major species, and we... Oh, they're all over here. They're... Oh, are they aquatic? Okay, obviously, I can't... I never thought about that, but the nursery's not going to work with aquatic species. This, yeah, this guy's got gills. So we have the gill species, and then the lung breathers. I didn't even notice that till now. So yeah, so this is going to break off to being fish. This is going to break off to being mammals of some sort. Let's take, uh, how many of these guys? Oh, there's only three of those guys left. These two are going to die, unfortunately. I'm really excited to see this one, too. God damn it. All right, well, whatever. We're going to take one of these guys because they are the air breathers, and you can see they're everywhere. And we are going to move this little dude into, where's the nursery? There it is. Why can't I move forward? There we go. We're going to drop that guy in there like so. And he just pooped out a bunch of kids, man. I'm pretty sure those, what the hell? Oh my god! Population overgrowth right here! Jesus! Okay, well, I have, uh, too many kids in my damn nursery. Is, does the whole species come in? No, I think we literally just had that many kids, man. Alright, so let's go to the genetics engineering of this adorable bastard. So, I want to see if we can actually play God. We're gonna basically play Spore now. So, we're gonna up the size of this bad boy. Oh, that's just upping... What, what, what am I doing? The size of what? I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. So we're, we're just going to have some fun here and see what we can make. I thought it would up the size of the whole thing. Actually, it is. I didn't even notice till the bottom here, but it actually changes the shape of it slightly as well, which is weird. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I did not expect this. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're going to have uh, the old ball creature. Yeah, the hairy ball. There we go. Will torso rotation fix my issue? Yes! Okay, I wanted to make a standing creature. Okay, no, no. Oh, God. What am I doing? Other way, other way, other way. Why are these arrows so small? There we go. Now you don't look so horrifying. You kind of look cute if you 
look at it the wrong way. It doesn't say which limb it is, so it's 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 kind of like a surprise. It's, I can't even tell what the hell's going on with this limb. So let's just lengthen it. Oh, that that was the wrong arrow. Okay, there. <laughs> yes. This is like if Spore and Amnesia had a kid. Uh, this would be it. I want these. This got to be a big beefy boy. So we're gonna make these things nice and fat. Oh my god, I love this. This is so wrong. Bicep thickness, make it a thick boy. There we go. Have some muscle here. <laughs> Imagine if you saw this in the woods. Nope. Oh, the old limb tip type. Let's, uh, I, what, what do we want? Is that, is that like hooves? All right, yeah, that looks good to me. Limb tip scale. I want to make these things big. Yeah, those are definitely hooves. Now, now I can see. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on with his butt. We'll have to figure that out later. Limb step size. What? I don't know what you're talking about, but okay, we'll up that. All right, what are we working with here? Let's see. I'm gonna have to lengthen these things and then look at what they are because I can't, what the f <laughs> Do we have wings now? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, we're just, oh my God, what am I? I don't even, I can't tell what the hell. Are these wings? I was joking, but I think they're actually wings. Um, okay, I'll, 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 I'll do it. And we're just gonna make these things even longer because, uh, yeah, what, can we, um, can we up the, why is he, God, this is like oddly sexual and I don't like it. All right, we're gonna make them a little bit beefier. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to lift it up. That's all, that's all I want is to lift up the back end a little bit. We might have to go back to the torso here and maybe rotate it a bit more. Let's see, oh yeah, there we go. There we go, straight out of a... How do I... Okay, I'm gonna have to increase the height of these, probably. See, the problem is they, they're not going down, they're going outwards. They're just... Oh my god, this is this is getting scarier. I'm, I'm not trying to make this thing scary, but at this point, I mean, we, we may as well just embrace it. There, oh my god, it looks like a human in a spider suit. With hooves! Because uh, hooves are important. All right, let's, let's, let's make this guy a long neck boy. So, has neck. It doesn't have a neck right now. Let's let's add one of those. There, okay. They have definitely added a little bit of a neck. All right, we're gonna do that one. Neck length. Yes. Let it extend. I'm a shower, not a. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it'd be a little bit thick at least. Should we just keep it? No, that's 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 too much. Let's 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 make it at least a little bit thicker. All right, we're gonna make it nice and thick. Why are you dropping your head now? Next slope. Let's up that slope a little bit. There we go. Neck rotation, actually, that should make it a little bit faster. There we go. Aren't you cute? Look at you, man. It's totally not cute, but there we go. Head scale. Okay, his head's actually, oh my God. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone. Okay, this scale goes a little bit too fast for me, but hey, you know what? He actually kind of looks cute. Maybe I've been just looking at him for too long, but he's kind of adorable. Let's change the head. Oh man, oh no. Okay, um, how many heads is there? That's the bigger question. Can we just keep going? It looks like we can just keep going, man. They're probably totally randomized. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, there there we go. Oh, what the frig are you putting on his face? What the hell? What are those? All right, seven sounds good. Now, what about the face? Oh, it doesn't look like the face. Hold on, sometimes this... Okay, it looks like the face is broken. Um... Oh man, there's so many features in there too. All right, that's all right. We're gonna generate this guy. And uh, his name, creature gener. Okay, so his name's down here. Nope.avi, there we go, export it. And is it in here or do I have to put it in here? So it looks like we have to make it a target genome and then we try and selectively breed to get that thing. So you don't actually just automatically get it, which I actually like. So if we go into here, yes, you select the target and we built it out of the one that's actually in here. So number to import, uh, we'll just import that one. Ha! Oh, okay, so there we go. Now over time in the nursery, we're gonna try and make this adorable little dude into the absolutely horrifying dude. Applied radiation, Jesus Christ, this is in depth. All right, 26 creatures in the nursery. Hopefully over time, we'll have that. Select target, okay, that was already selected, import. So I guess it's good to go. And we just let it go, and the nursery will do the hard stuff for me. Great. Oh my God. You can actually see it being built in real time. I don't know if you're doing a very good job, game. It does, it does 
this didn't look like it's gonna look like this, but maybe over time. Now I have an issue. My camera broke. Now, oh, 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 okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, I fixed it. All right, so it looks like we are well on our way to the natural selection that we've always dreamed of. Actually, it kind of looks kind of like it's going bad right now. I have no idea. Doesn't matter, though, because we got more to check out. What has happened since we've uh, been building this guy? So we got... Ooh, they're getting big. They're getting big, guys, as you can see. So what I got to do is actually zoom this out. Oh, look at this, though. He's got pincers on the front. This guy, too, obviously an off-breed of that. Is it, are these the gill breathers? Oh, it looks like it can actually breathe with the gills and lungs now. So it looks like... Yeah, both are actually are. Would These guys still look very worm-like, but these guys are finally branching off to something interesting. Did you just break out? These motherfuckers just broke out! Dude, there's a breach in the fence! They're actually breaking out of the enclosure. So... Like, this guy might actually get out here. Hold on, give him a second. He's trying. He's trying. They're getting really big. Okay, so yeah, he died, but I actually saw some break out. This is so cool! I love the fact that it's not like you just drop down the species and poof, it comes into existence. I'm actually trying to intentionally evolve these guys in this thing to that. By the way, if you're seeing this rover, it is not feeding my creatures. I just saw it somewhere. It is only feeding the trees because, as you can see, there's none. What the? There's, there's actually none. Uh, that's a problem. All right, we were running out of trees, so now it's like, holy crap. Yeah, we might run into an extinction level event here. They're looking for trees, as you can see. What happened? What the hell? Okay, hold on. Pause time. I gotta figure out what's going on here. Fertility is maxed. Uh, all things are saying there should be life growing. 27 degrees Celsius is good. Maybe raise the water level a little bit. We can... Uh, oh, that might actually be an issue with my... Oh, no. I might flood my damn nur nursery with doing this. You, I am definitely gonna flood the nursery. Unfortunately, it's right on the coastline, so I can't do much about it. Holy crap! You guys are getting huge, and we got a little rover trying to work with you. You can see the scale of these guys, though, compared to the last time. We were much smaller than, than, than the rover. So, officially, I think they can just escape. That might be a problem. Alright, oh well, I'm more worried. Where the hell are the trees? This rover is supposed to be planting. All right, we're gonna have to go to the world options here because this is getting a little bit scary. Uh, maybe they're too stamina focused and uh, that's why they're eating the trees so quickly. Let's up the tree growth rate to like 90. I'm going crazy. Forest density, we're gonna up that to four. Uh, temperature temperature sensi uh, sensitivity, I'm gonna drop that all the way down to zero. I, at this point, I'm gonna lose all my creatures if I don't try and play God here, so. Uh, meat tree efficiency, we're gonna up that as well by quite a bit. Even the meat as well. Oh, that dropped it all the way down. That was a dumb move. Let's up that to like two grazing. I just got, I gotta basically help these guys eat now. Uh, alright. Let's adjust that. And over time, hopefully we should see some trees popping up now because... Dude, they ate them all. They ate all the freaking trees. You bastards. Yeah, this isn't good, man. I'm not seeing... I see one... Is that a tree? That could just be green ground. It looks like that's a small... Yeah, that's a small green patch. We might have to turn to grazing here, which is probably what they're doing. Uh, we're capped, though. Like, there's a lot of creatures. It looks like they moved to the water again. Uh, oh, my God. I am lagging like crazy over here. I gotta... Oh, I almost lagged my game out. Uh, yeah, as you can see, being that there is no more plant matter, it looks like everybody has moved... Oh, I didn't want this to happen. Oh my god. Look at the life down here, though. This is adorable. We got things with flappers. It might be interesting to see how big they can get in the water, though. We might actually get some predators because there's not much food to eat. They might just end up eating each other. Now, I'm thinking, oh, was my, was my experiment a total failure? It looks like we dropped down to one. And, uh, don't get me wrong, he's looking actually pretty damn good. Whoa! What the hell? What the- What, 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 what? What? That doesn't look anything like what this guy is. I wish he looked like that, though. I mean, he doesn't have those big old eyes. God, don't, don't look at me, you're horrifying. Alright, you know what? Let's move a couple guys into here. We're going to pick up this guy, because we've lost pretty much all of them, so... May as well try and give this thing the best chance it has. 
and drop a few more of these guys in here. There's supposed to be a rover around. I'm not sure where it is. These guys are clearly eating, though, so that's good. All right, I've officially turned my nursery into a water zone. You can see the water tide going up and down. It actually totally decimates the whole zone, so that might be an issue uh, with actually keeping these guys as uh, lung breathers because they're going back and forth between water and ground uh, because I upped the water level. So let's actually drop the water level just a little bit because I'd like to get some more land creatures back. It actually looks like they're uh, breaking off. We have seven species now. Um, I didn't realize there were so many still on the land. This is actually amazing. They're spreading out. It actually feels like an ecosystem a little bit. Okay, we're running into the issue again where we're actually uh, having too many species. We got 13 species right now. We are spread out everywhere. Most of these guys are actually on the hills over here now. They've left the water. Still, obviously, quite a few in the water, too, though. But, uh, yeah, they're taking to these hilltops for some reason. Not really sure why. You can see the, the di diversity now, though. They're obviously still all quite worm-like. We got some with flippers and whatnot. This guy's not even moving. He's supposed to be in the water, probably. He's like, what the hell's going on? What the hell are you? Oh, you're majestic. That's what you are. Get in the water, little buddy. Can you fly? Like, I don't know what's going on here. There's just so much chaos in this game. I love it. Now, sad news. Nursery was a complete failure, as you can see. I'm going to keep dropping some in to see if we can keep them going. But, uh... I don't know. They just die over time, so I can't really do too much about that. We need enough to have sex in here so they can actually reproduce and continue my uh, experiment. What the f- What the hell? <laughs> I've seen a few of these now. I don't know what they're doing, but I love them. They, they do like a little butt flutter to kind of fly when they're going downhill. So let's see if he'll do it. He's going up on a hill now. Oh, please do your butt flutter, buddy. I love it. We got so many species. I've capped out at like 20. So obviously life's going good. I'm lagging real bad, by the way. I just love this guy. I don't know what he's going to turn into, but I can only dream that he flies with his butt because uh, he's a majestic bat. <laughs> oh, God, never mind. I don't know what's going on right here. It looks like most people are confused as well. I'm, I'm going to say this is probably an orgy, though, a, a cross-species orgy. <laughs> It's so big. I don't know. They're all obviously confused. Are they stuck on top of each other? Are they scavengers now and eating dead creatures? I have no idea. Uh, obviously, these things are still extremely worm-like, unfortunately. Yeah, I think they're actually scavenging. There's a lot of dead bodies around here. And uh, again, I haven't been able to fix the tree issue. So I don't think we're getting any more trees, man. But we're not having an issue keeping species alive. Let's actually... Haven't looked at the clay diagram in a while. Oh my god. All right, so we've had some very stable species, as you can see. Let's actually zoom out to appreciate... And that's not zooming out. There we go. Having a little bit of lag issues now, obviously. A lot has happened. But you can see, uh, once that branch off happened, it was extremely stable. And we have a couple dif different branches off now. Let's zoom in. Look at how many dead species happen in this one species, though. They have been evolving like crazy. So we got this little dude for that. Let's zoom that in. Oh, why is it zooming in on that? No, I just want to zoom in. Okay, well, we're going to have to zoom in on him, too. Uh, yeah, this is the one very dominant species right now with 409. Oh, God. We're down to a minor species with this with only two left. No! I think it's dead. All right, well, oh well, it happens. Let's actually pause the game because I'm having major issues. Now, this guy, this is my herbivore with gills. You can see, oddly enough, the herbivore with gills is looking like it could take to the land. Is that its eyeballs underneath it? I honestly have no idea, but that one did really well. Let's just take a minute to kind of appreciate some of these things. So we got, obviously, a lot of dead species here. Very, very horrifying looking. I want to see something that's actually weird. Uh, looks like they're actually all very, very similar. I mean, it makes sense. They come from the same species. Oh my god. What the hell? No wonder why you went extinct. What What? What are you trying to evolve to? This thing just looks angry. Like, look at it. It's so... It's it's had such a bad day, it's dead now, so I guess it would be. Uh, but yeah, I like the, the color patterns that we got going on now. They're actually getting somewhat colorful. Not really sure why. All right, so I let this go for about 30 minutes, just letting them evolve. And we have two new major species, as you can see. This guy's the biggest guy right now. How many... We got two left? 
of our miner. This thing was so stable. I thought it was it wasn't gonna die ever. That was one of our first major breakoffs, as you can see. And we're down to two species with this guy. So I don't think he's gonna last. These guys seem to be dominating the world now. So this is really interesting to watch. You can see our, our spread out here was absolutely crazy. And then it kind of refined itself. And now we have two brand new major species. Let's actually go see what the world's looking like right now. Uh, how big are these guys? Because, wow, okay, we're going to slow this down, obviously. They they look like freaking centipedes now. It's so gross. I love their textures, though. I don't know what's going on with them, but, uh, yeah, they have a really cool skin type. So it looks like those are the only ones. Is that the only ones that are on land? Yeah, we got a lot in the water now, as you can see. They seem to recess to the water after a certain amount of time. These guys got beaks, though. Uh, this is really interesting. Now I'm gonna do a test. I'm going to uh, let this go overnight. I'm gonna give it a full probably 10 hours to see what possibly comes out. Now the game will probably totally destroy itself. They might even go extinct, but we can at least look at the uh, clay diagram and see what these things actually evolved into. So yeah, we're gonna let it go and uh, we'll be back in a few hours. All right, and welcome back, guys. After a full night, it looks like we made cockroaches, and that's... God, it looks very much like a cockroach. It's actually kind of scary. It's like a cockroach-worm combo. Uh, anyways, looking at what happened throughout the night, this game did indeed crash after 18 hours, but we had 18 hours of, as you can see breeding and we did breed a lot now it dropped down to only two species and it kept these only two species for a long time you can see this one's not even breaking off i believe it's actually is it fossilized no, it has seven species right now, and that is it. So yeah, this one's a pretty ugly guy. It's got like a little blowfish mouth. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, didn't really change too much. Now this guy over here, he has evolved quite a bit. I, I really suck with this thing, by the way, guys. I apologize. Uh, there we go. So now I can click it. Uh, but yeah, that's the guy we were just looking at. It's like a... A slug bird cockroach combo. It's absolutely horrifying. You can see it did try and break off quite a bit throughout the night, and we had a long time of this. Look at this thing. It was actually starting to expand and get quite big, and uh, there's obviously lots of these guys in here. It was actually starting to expand, and uh, I bet that was an aquatic animal. Actually, it says it's a herbivore, though. Oh, it has gills, so it definitely was an aqu aquatic animal. Now, was there any major breaks? We did have a little bit of a break off here, as you can see. That thing looks really, really weird. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, after 18 hours, we really haven't got any of the big guys that I so desperately want. And it, it's amazing how unsuccessful this thing was at uh, spreading out and turning into different species. That one's really cool looking. I don't want to click anything, so let me just... Oh my god, look at it. This one has big legs. I mean, they just keep going and going. Now, what did this break off from, though? I want to see what was the strong one here. So it broke off from this thing. So yeah, broke off from these things. We can see there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but unfortunately, none of these survive long enough. But there's just so many different designs in here. It's really, really cool. I was hoping to see a really unique one. We had some that looked totally different. Look at this guy. God damn. I don't know what... Do you, do you have, like, flippers? What What are those things? And now we have the scrotum monster. Oh my god, that seriously looks like a penis. Okay, let's, let's stop looking at these things now. So yeah, unfortunately, I clearly suck at trying to make big creatures in this game. Uh, I'm really good at building the small guys. Mind you, they did get a little bit bigger this time, and they got a little bit more unique. But as you can see, it looks like most of them are still focused on living in the water where the majority of the plant matter is. So yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out species once again. Now, uh, if you guys have any suggestions on how I could play this better, how we could get bigger monsters or bigger creatures, I would love to hear your input in the comments below. For right now, we're going to end off this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.